your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but it don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Neely. She's in one of her moods. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now... She's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. 
How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. I've been there too. Most people say that without meaning it. But I do mean it, Bug. So how are you? I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him, I don't know, makes me feel a bit better. It's not bad, but it makes me feel better, right? No, it's not bad. I feel the same way. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. Oh. I talked to your mom. She's going to try to do better by you. So, try to do better by her, too. All right? It won't be easy. But I know you're strong enough. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I'm actually doing pretty good. I feel like I'm finally in a... place, mentally. Finally me. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. If you feel it's the right thing to do. Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick. Without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now, I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm going to make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge.
Nobody's perfect. But my own angel is telling me to tell Nick's story. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. Sure, I didn't get killed. I got you shot. Yeah, but only in a part I didn't need. I'm stronger than ever. Ow. <laughs> stronger mentally. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. There's still something missing. Something eating at me. Real mysteries don't wrap up in nice little bows. Maybe. Just for once, turn your brain off. So what are you gonna do next with your unshot and healthy body? Step number one, find a job. Preferably a writing gig. Walter's probably hiring. It's complicated. You should talk to him. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> You may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. Really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good.
good. I've heard that before. I'm in, I'm good. I'm in, I'm in, good. I'm in good shit, right? I know what she'll say. She'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. It's not that easy to leave. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I'm honestly I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? How dare you? How dare you even come here? You insult his memory by even being here. I wasn't trying to give offense. I, I knew. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small-town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? Here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Kathy was always in the way. You used Kathy as a shield. Come now. You knew him. You think he was so easily misguided. A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father. Both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. 
The question is, who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. But what of Nick, who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think when I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter? And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. Fine. I'll keep your dirty little secret. Just know... I'll be keeping tabs on you. If I ever hear Kathy, Joan, or Joe want for anything. Never. Kathy will get a raise, college for Joan, and Joe won't miss another medical payment ever again. As long as you keep your word, I will care for them like I do for this town. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. Heard the news today? Fresh details emerged about the opioid scandal in Basswood. Chief Vess Mitchell is with us today to explain the situation. Chief Mitchell, what can you tell us? Well, it's a real barrel of snakes, Carrie. The deaths of the Basswood Jungle employees is an unforgivable tragedy. It was the work of a single corrupt officer. We believe Officer Declan was trying to cover up his connection to the local drug trade. With this bad element removed, I assure you we have everything under control. I want to let everyone in Basswood know it won't be long before we have this drug problem wrapped up. I wish I could say this was a new story around here, but it's a cycle we've seen time and time again around these parts. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. We've got a bit of easy listening coming up.